What is going on my stock market bulls and bears? I am your host Terry and welcome to the channel by the dip. All right guys, we're back talking about that meta ticker symbol MMAT. So in all in all, I'd say we had a pretty phenomenal day. Uh, the stock is up about 8% today at its low. It was down here at $6.32. So congratulations to anyone that bought the dip and are ready to ride this out. So we are up here setting at $7.60. There's a little bit of news out here today. We got to go over. We got to go over this possible Elon Musk Tesla deal, and we got to go over the short volume ratio, along with the short volume and the amount of shares that are being shorted. So, if this number keeps climbing, there is a chance. There is a chance of a possible squeeze in the future. So, people that are long on this, you're not really worried about what's happening here in the short term. If you see that price dipping, um, you're just happy as dipping, so you can add more shares. So, guys, and I think. If this dips below seven and you can, if you're in this long term and you're looking to add some more shares to your portfolio, anything in the sixes is probably good. But if you can get it down under 650, that would be phenomenal. That would truly be amazing. But we'll see where this goes. Let's get in here and talk about all the stuff going around today. And guys, if you enjoyed this information, hit the thumbs up, check out the links down below and let's get to the video. All right, guys, and we're going to start out here on Twitter. That's right. I'm not going to say the guy's name. We don't want to get banned or anything. But this gentleman here got George to reply back to him over Twitter. Now, here's what he said. Management, well, this is George, the CEO of Meta, guys. Right here it is. George, the CEO of Meta. So, management will hold a live webcast presentation on Tuesday, July the 6th at 1 p.m. to discuss recent events and Meta's future growth initiatives mmat to join us please register here there is a link you can click to join that if the conference call if you'd like to join that and george here also did a part two of two where he replied back and said we'll be sharing further information on official pr to help further discuss the process all which was described in the proxy circular hope this helps and he was replying here to Lumi. Um, now, if you go to this guy's Twitter, it's at, it's the capital I, O-O-M-Y-7. This gentleman right here, you can go check him out. Uh, I think he's doing great work on Meta on Twitter. And he, he did get replies from the CEO. So thank you, Mr. Barry is what I'll call you, Barry. Thank you for getting those replies from George. Now, we're going to scroll over here to George's page. That's right. Here he is. Here is George's Twitter page, you guys. And I think this is where we kind of got rumors going around. We've covered that before here in the channel. And right here, George posted this two hours ago. He tagged Elon Musk. Right there it is. Recently passive meta materials proven to boost the MRI signal to noise ratio by up to 50x, enhancing only the magnetic field, hence safe and high speed plus high resolution science. And there is a link here you can click. It's an article, I did skim over it, from 2016, where George was talking about this. And here's a little bit of, he talked. He replied back to Elon Musk's tweet right here. Basic MRI is easier than it sounds uh, good, to be honest. High resolution MRI, in short, time will weak, magnetic field is hard. So there it is, guys. A little bit more updates on July 6th. I think July 6th is going to be a big day. Uh, are we going to get some information of possibly Meta? Tesla? Meta and Tesla coming together? This could be some big stuff. So July the 6th, there is chance you could buy some call options for that July 16th and see what happens. You know, it'd be gamble money. There's a chance you could lose it all, but you could ride this call option out to July the 6th, which I may have to see about doing that. But let's go in here now and talk about the short volume ratio. All right, guys, so here we are on the Fintel website. This was just updated today, June the 30th. Short volume, 9 million shares. The market volume was 27.5 million shares. Short volume ratio was 33%. It went up. And down here, we have the last couple of days, this has only been technically MMAT for three days. So on the 28th, the total short volume was 9.6 million shares. And yesterday's video, guys, we did cover this, that on the 29th, it did go down. And I was thinking possibly shorts covered their positions because it went, the short volume went from 
9.6 down to 6.6. So 3 million shares were covered. But in an interesting turn of event, I honestly thought that this would number would actually go down even more because the stock went down. But it kind of seems that the shorts might have re-entered their short position because on today it's back up to 9 million. Now, if we go over here to the meta materials short volume ratio, on the 28th, it was 32.39%. On the 29th, it was 31.25%. And today it's setting at 32.66. I think they just rounded it to 33 up there. But very interesting, guys, that the volume of shares shorted went up today by about 2.4 million shares, give or take about 69, if you know what I'm saying. So very interesting there, guys, on the short volume. Wanted to bring you that update. And I want to go back and just talk about some of the fundamentals of meta materials and why we all like it. All right, this. guys, so here we are on the website. And I kind of just want to give you a quick rundown of everything that they are in. I must say again, this website is beautiful. I totally love the colors. I love the animations. I could tell this was like well put together, guys. So if we scroll down here, this will give us a kind of brief overview of everything that this company is in. And this is this here says discover our solutions. They also do aerospace and defense. Our solutions range from optical filtering to EMI shielding to de-icing and defogging. They're on airplanes. That's pretty cool. They are also in the automotive. Our emerging technologies can benefit the automotive energy. Down here, consumer electronics. Our nano web technology is one of the only viable alternatives to ITO. It offers very high conducti conductivity and optical transmissions that can outperform many current smartphones. So that is very interesting. They're also in energy. We are developing new solar films that have the potential to increase solar cell efficiency by collecting, absorbing light from all angles. So that's pretty cool. And they also are here in the medical through research and develop, development. We are pioneering cutting edge wireless devices in medical, diagnostics, and monitoring. And down here it is, man, the ending of all this. But guys, I think in each video of Meta going forward, I think I'm gonna come in here and do a quick couple minute rundown of one of their sectors and go over their products so we can keep up to date on that. And here on their own website on metamaterials.com, you can go under stock info on their website and it kind of gives you a nice rundown. Here it says, you know, the uh, market open was $6.84. We had 27.99 million shares traded today and we got a market cap of 2.13 billion. Uh, shares outstanding is 285 million. So there it is, quick update uh, right here on their website. So that is very nice. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, consider subscribing, smash the like button. And if you like this, leave a comment down below. I love seeing you guys' comments. And guys, I will catch y'all in the next one. And remember to buy the dip. And we gotta get closer to this. And baby, let's go.